Good morning, retail traders. I'm Washboard Jim with a Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy, and I'm going to show you how we took the SPX trade yesterday on the two minute. And if we get around to it, I'll show you what it looked like on the one minute. So, the two minute, we had three black crows off the 200 SMA on the two minute time frame. Now, my strategy is all about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now. So, ready right at open gate. I want to show you why I like this trade and the zone that we were in. And I'm going to move this to a five minute, I mean, two minute, five day time frame. And we had like a little area right in here, a little area of support. We, we bounced above that support level that we held for resistance area that we held for, for two days straight. So I'm going to draw a price line all the way across that. And that's going to be my, my support level or my resistance level to break right when we come out of the gate because we were still in the bottom of that channel. And then we had a, a two-headed snake right here of support right about in here. You can see the head. You can see it drop down and then you can see the one, two, three. So as we, we, we came back down, we started getting into that bottom part of this inverse head and shoulders. It slanted down a little bit, right it open. Then we had the resistance level of the previous day, which was the previous day high. And then we had that double top, and then we had the one, two, three right here. So we're going to draw a price line all the way across that, and that's an indicator of a triple top, and then it pulls back. So we came in here with a one, two, three, four. I always say if you want to count to four, you can make more. So we came in. I've got my zone. I know where the bottom is down here on that, on that five minute. I'm going to go ahead and draw that in here that head and shoulders. So I knew if we got down to this Larry area right down here, it would be a very good strong buy to run it back up to keep it in that channel of support. So I've got my zone right in here already figured out. So I come in first thing in the morning and I see three black crows. And you got these dojis with long legs forming a little flag right here. Draw the top of the wick. Whoops. Get a little flag forming there. And then it squeezed into three black crows, and then we had a tweezer bottom down here at the bottom with a spinning top hammer. Right after it, we had a doji, a spinning top, another doji, and then a big old engulfing candle to the 63 EMA. So I was pretty bullish by this time. Once we broke that 50 SMA and started running up, and we had the crossover of the 9 over the 21 EMAs, and they both respected it, and then we became very bullish. As you notice, when we started, the 200 was down here, and the 9, the 21, the 63, and the 50. And as we crossed over, the 9 came above the 21, the 50, and the 63. So by this time, we had the crossovers of all the moving averages, and we kept riding up that 9. And then we had a little pullback to the 21, which was the old resistance level of this here crow. So as long as you held that crow, I think that would have been able to put your stop maybe a little bit below that crow and, and save the trade. Maybe at that first crow and then put your stop right there because a lot of times they'll pull back to that first crow. But in this case, we pulled right back to that top. And then she went ahead and bounced up and had one heck of a day for the rest of the day. I scalped this trade and got back in it, but I really would have really loved to sat on it all day long and run that thing up from two dollars and ten cents. We got in at the very bottom and ran it up to the top. 
So the indicator was the three black crows off the 200 SMA with higher lows. Higher lows. This is telling you that things bullish. We got higher lows. And then we broke the moving average of the 63 EMA. And then it respected the 21 and kept on going and respected that 9. Now on the one minute time frame, we had a little different scenario. Hmm. Oh, I see what I've done. There we go. This is the one minute time frame. So again, we have the same trend lines of resistance. You had yesterday's triple top, and that's where we stopped at. Yesterday's triple top, and we pulled back. Then we had again, which is a one minute, we had the flag, and then we started seeing the breakdown. And then three black crows came into the scene, and with the one minute, we had a big hammer, which is a bullish indicator. So you could have took this with, with the hammer, and then she starts getting them higher lows, and then breaks the nine, and then you know you're off to business. And once the nine starts to cross that 21 again, you could take that trade right about there and run it on up and get out of the double top or extend, extend the run all the way up. It came back on the one minute and hit the 63 EMA, which I've been trading on the one minute. I've been counting on that 63. Now on the two minute, it went a little bit below the 63 and created an inverse head and shoulders. Something ain't right about that. Oh, we're down here. Duh. We came back and hit that 63. And on the on the um, two minute, we came back and hit the 21. So I'm using the moving averages as, as support levels as I go down. And you want to keep it above the 21 on the one minute, you stay bullish in the trade. And the same thing with the one minute, you want to keep it above that 63. So you get accustomed to how the moving averages work in different time frames. And that's the secret of, the, of part of this strategy. If you like to work in the five minute, you want to stay above the nine and then once it broke below the nine you'd want to exit the trade and then you have three white soldiers coming out of the gate on the five minute which is a very bullish indicator very bullish indicator five minute you come in here and you got the, the spinning the, the doji with a hammer and then you got the three lining up right down here with a tweezer bottom and then you come out and you lead out with three white soldiers which tells you that there's going to be an extension in the run the way you play the three white soldiers on the five minute is you got that so third soldier and it comes back to that first soldier for support so that would have been your great entry I mean always not always not always it's an extension to a breakout, and it's going to pull back and consolidate. And when it pulls back to that first first soldier, that's when you want to go ahead and take that trade off the nine. Unless you see it down here off the hammer and you got the tweezer bottom working with that doji, then you'd want to take it there and get in early. But you know you're at a support when you see that dojis. When you start to see dojis that's, and, and a hammer, that's a good sign that this is going to be a very bullish trade on the way up. But always keep on your toes. So that's how we took it. On the five minute, you've got the hammer and you've got the doji. On the two minute, we got the three black crows. You got the three black crows 
with higher lows, breaking the 200 SMA, and then running up, pulling back and hitting the 21, and then on the one minute, Get it right, Jimmy. One minute. You had to also had the three black crows come in with higher lows, and you're able to take that trade and maybe get in here off the 63 and run it all the way up top to the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and get out of the trade. You can see the rising wedge as it starts to thin out. And that's it. SPX. I hope that helps you out a little bit. It's all about chart patterns, moving averages, and being in the now, and learn them candlesticks, learn them dojis. You can really become a great trader. Look at the candles that happen after the knives. You know, we got a knife, we got a, we got a long leg hammer. We got a hammer, that's a doji. After the knife, you know, we got this little hammer here. So keep an eye on them things. Once, the, when the knife begins, when you start seeing the thinning of the bodies and then the longer legs on the dojis, that's going to tell you, or the candles, that's going to tell you which way the direction the stock is going to head. Retail traders, have a great day. Man, this is a sneaky snake trading strategy where I love to teach beginners how to really start off to a good path and become better traders. A lot of people make calls, but they don't show exactly how you get into the trade and why to get out, and I'm here to show you that, and have a great day. Sneaky snake trading strategy.